Welcome fellow members of the Esoteric Order of Gamers and today we're looking at Clash of Cultures. It's a game by Christian Markison and he also made Merchants and Marauders which is one of my favorites, a fantastic pirate game and I've heard that this game which is a civilization building game is just as good. So let's have a look inside. I know very little about it but that's the good thing because we can go on a journey of discovery together. Let's rip off that shrimp crab. And have a look inside. Aha! So we have a Z Man catalog. We have some rules, and they are. 24 pages long. There's an ad for Merchants and Marauders on the back, which I highly recommend. And uh, very nice, colourful, glossy looking rules. Lots of diagrams. Looks quite involved, but then civilization building games usually are. Now we have what look like some um, player reference sheets, action notes, status phase. Very nice. Oh, very nice. Look at this. Um, we have some tech tree boards, I believe, and it looks like these pop out. Yes, they do. Interesting. Very nice. Nice typography, very clear, and uh, they look nice and clear and readable, and you can see they come in various different colours for different civilizations. Now we have some counters, a turn track, some other miscellaneous counters. Look like some Seven Wonders of the Ancient World there. Now we have uh, terrain tiles. Very nice. Smiley faces, not sure what they're for. Uh, there's a fog of war effect on the tiles before you go out and discover them. And there we have quite a few of these. There's mountains and sea. Ah, very generous in the terrain tiles. We're getting deeper and deeper into the box. Oh, and look at all this stuff! Ooh, it's so exciting! There's so much plastic! My goodness! Oh, we've got some dice! Some small plastic cubes. Various colours. Two decks of cards. Action, objective. And lots of plastic. What's in here? Oh, it's like Christmas. There's even a little pack of desiccant gel. So here we have um, various warriors. Oh, look, they're very nice. Really nice um, troop figures of different colours. There's uh, city pieces. These go together to make uh, larger cities as you build your civilization. More bits of the cities, more bits of the cities. Wow, looks great. Let's have a look at these cards. Here's a closer look at the cards you get with the game. To start with, we have objective cards. Very nice design. Colony, culture, consulates, merchants, citadel, new founders. Very nice. Then we have... Um, some wonder cards. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No surprises there. Got the classics there. Always good to have great wonders in a civilization building game. Then we have an event deck. A fine year. Great discovery. Population boom. Earthquake. Famine. And finally, an action deck. Very nice design. It's a very well put together game and there's certainly lots and lots of bits in it, which is always satisfying. And finally, here's the array of bits you get for each of the different player colours. Very nice. You can see how these city pieces break up into different bits so you can build your city and make it larger as you go through the game. Lovely design. Really looking forward to playing this game. 
So folks, that's a very quick look at Clash of Cultures from Z-Man Games, or as we call it down here, Z-Man Games. And um, it's certainly a box chock full of stuff. Looks great. Uh, keep an eye out on www.orderofgamers.com because we'll have a rule summary for this game coming as soon as we can manage to get it done. Clash of Cultures!